Welcome to today's video. Welcome to February 2023. I'm so excited. I'm receiving the energy of today. Today is the first. And I'm settling down, opening the circle to read that energy, receive it, and it's kind of catching up on the collective story. I love this moment in the in the month. Let's begin. I hope you had a beautiful time in January. I hope that the month gave you a lot, that you learned a lot and that you forgave yourself for a lot. Today we're picking into a new chapter so I know time is not linear and things might you know delve into the next two three days or they might shift or have already shifted for you. So what we're doing is that we're reading the energy. It's a collective story. It might not resonate with you or it might actually be a very personal reading for you. So I highly recommend you to go back to the January healing, to the January reading and to see if it resonated with you and to have a little moment of reflection before we start something new. I want to remind you that this is a free access. Right now you're watching this a few days into February. But for all my Patreons, you have access to it on the first day of the month. And you also have access to a healing ceremony that helps you digest all of the words, all of the channeling and to open up to deeper to open up deeper into that story and how it relates to you and how how you can heal and how you can move forward. So I hope that you go back to those healings and that you go back to those readings and that you see if my journaling resonates with you. Let's go, let's zoom in into February. So I want to start with those cards. They're the Galactic Heritage cards. They're by Lisa Royal Holt and we read her book in our book club. That was the first book, The Prism of Lyra. I highly recommend it. So let's let the cards speak to us for the first two, the first door to that channeling. Big deck, a lot of cards. Okay, we've got our first one. And then we've got two that fill, oh, three. Okay, wow. So I'm going to take those and we're going to trust that one also fell, that just fell off the deck. So let's, let's see what we have. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let them talk like this. And we want common ground, hybrid, parallel. I've actually never had that card before. All right, so... Breathing in, breathing out. So what we see here is all the illustrations that refer to, you know, see for example, this one is the Andromedan one here. So we've got all the illustrations of all the different species, all the different star seed origins. That's fascinating. So common ground where they meet, where that story meets and how it relates to us as well as the humans on Earth. Then we've got confusion, self-discipline and pulse of life. And then we've got enlightenment. So what I feel called to before we read the text is that there's something powerful with February. We're in Aquarius season. Last February was a huge, huge huge shift in the collective storyline because the Ukraine and Russian conflict started and the invasion of Ukraine started by Russia and was made very official and I don't know if you relate to it but there's something extremely it's here it's there and people don't often talk about it and people have kind of shifted moods and are focused on something else or everything else but 
It's happening. It's war. There's thousands of people who died. There's a huge injustice. There's a huge conflict and I didn't know we were gonna go there but that's why we're going. So last February in 2022 it started and now we're a year later and I, I cannot believe it's been a year. I cannot believe this has gone on so long and it's still going and that conflict still is adding to a rhythm, it's adding chaos, it's adding trauma, it's adding movement and conflict within the collective because it's not just Russia and Ukraine, it's other countries alliances with either Russia or Ukraine and there's two mentalities, two polarities fighting with each other and I don't know where you are in the world but we've had those two mentalities fighting each other over the internet and over other things and the world is changing, the world is shifting and we can see that portrayed in that conflict. Things are very tense, there's a lot of death, there's a lot of wounded there's a lot of threats. We've got the nuclear threat, we've got the tanks, we've got the movement of population that we expect with climate change, that we expect with what's been happening with Afghanistan and the Taliban. I, I didn't think we were going to go so political, but the spiritual world reflects and is encompassing everything that happens in the world. We cannot bypass it. So this common ground here is a huge energy that shows that whichever polarity we reside on, whether it's mimicked in, in those mentalities that are fighting within that war that I mentioned, or whether it's national or whether it's local or even familial there's been a war there's been a conflict there is a conflict there will be a conflict and the energy of common ground is coming through to help us find a way to create that bridge even when parts of us really don't want that, whether it's parts of your self fighting with your soul or whether it's part of your family fighting with you or with someone else or whether it's part of your colleagues at work or your community. There's a lot of fights. A lot of them are manifesting change, creating change. And they create new things that we then get to adapt to. And with newness comes confusion because it's the unknown. We've been in a huge transition. We are in a huge shift right now. And the 2020s are all going to be about that shift, that adaptation. And it's okay to find yourself without clarity and with a lot of confusion when the change comes because it's a new territory and you've got to try a few things which implies making a few mistakes we're so afraid of making mistakes that we don't try anymore and that we stay inert we stay confused and we stay blocked so all of this is about listening to your intuition listening to your deep 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 wisdom within and that to know when to try things, which doesn't mean it's going to be foolproof, fail-proof, uh, that it's going to be, you know, like mistake-proof, mistake, I don't know how you say this, um, that you're not going to make mistakes. So when there's confusion and a, lot of, and a lack of clarity, we go deep inside and we dress that discipline, those practices like meditation, writing, automatic writing, going deep within you 
to find that wisdom that you have within. The deeper you go, the deeper you get attuned to the pulse of life, the pulse of your life, the pulse of the collective life, and that you're able to make the changes that fit your storyline. We all have different storylines. All of this is going to resonate differently. But it's about having the discipline to not let yourself be inert and confused. But to seek your wisdom. Your own wisdom. Not mine. Not any others. Yours. So when you actually go into those practices, whichever they might be, try to seek that pulse, your pulse, the song, the dance of life, the rhythm of life, of your life. And that means there's a lot of retrospective into your past. And some of it is going to just let you have those cathartic moments where you're releasing a lot of the pain. And some of them are going to just be snapshots of clarity that help you to remember who you are, who you've been, what's been the common ground between all of those stories, all of those episodes of your life. What was the common ground? What was your energy? What was your pulse of life? So go deep into your practices learn new practices, go deep within and have that rendezvous with your higher self, have that meeting with your Akashic records, with your self-healing practices, your Reiki practices, every day. About Reiki, I'm reopening Reiki school, so you can join throughout February. I'll make announcements, please subscribe, join my newsletter, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I feel called to reopen it. Because I feel like people could benefit from learning how to listen to their energy and master their energy and open up to it. Finally, we've got enlightenment. That word is loaded. And what we're going to live it at today is just that enlightenment, is that oscillation. Going up and down, it's still a dance, still a pulse. And it's that oscillation of life. It's not that moment where you get up and everything opens up and everything is clear. It's also those moments when you go into confusion. It's just the act of being aware of your thoughts, of your body, of your health of your emotions, of your heart. So keep opening up. Keep going deep within. Keep searching for your pulse of life. Keep feeling it. Keep taking those measures, being aware, observing, observing yourself, observing the world around. There's a picture that's gonna draw itself, that common ground, that energy, that clarity. I'm going to stop the free reading right now and I'm going to record the healing ceremony for all my Patreons. Patreons, thank you so much for your support. It's so needed right now that I have stopped sessions for a little while. I'm going to reopen them later on, but right now I'm in a big transition myself. So I do need to focus on my energy right now and to better my practices as well, to go deeper into my own pulse of life into my own past lives and highest lives and highest self. So thank you for your support. If you are not subscribed to my Patreon, I would highly encourage you to do, to go there. There's a lot of unreleased videos, early access community, and it would mean the world to me to receive a little bit of support. Thank you. Take care. Bye.